Caitlin, the second oldest grandchild. Um, this is just something I wrote about my grandmother. Um, good afternoon, everyone. I waited and waited to put my words onto paper, thinking that somehow, some way, this would prolong the inevitable. Writing a paragraph to explain how amazing my granny was to me for 26 years just felt impossible. Lots of people have wonderful grandmothers, but I like to say that we had the best granny in the world. She wasn't mediocre by any means. Our happiness was her happiness. She cared about every single little thing that happened in our lives. Our accomplishments were her accomplishments. My grandmother missed nothing. One of the things I'm so grateful for is that, was, is that my granny was able to be at my wedding five months ago. Due to COVID, we were really contemplating on postponing it until later this year. We were only allowed to have 25 people at the wedding, but her support on that day made it feel like hundreds were in the crowd. I'm so happy she was able to be there with us on that special day. When thinking of grandmothers, oftentimes an older frail lady comes to mind that you see on holidays. My grandma was the complete opposite. From our long lasting shopping trips to her favorite store Dillard's, to not missing one school function, to making sure we were filled up with candy bags before sending us home, to going downtown Macon to see the lights on Christmas, to going to the Cherry Blossom Bear Race, Cherry Blossom Festival, Cherry Blossom Parade. <laughs> just a month or two before we came, just a month or two before this, we came down and we went to the Cherry Blossom. I could tell she was a little sore, slower, short of breath, but wanting us to still enjoy ourselves. We watched Kennedy at, get on rides at the fair, we shared a slushie together, we ate cotton candy, got a candy apple, and we talked and laughed. It was such a beautiful moment. She just cared so much about, was, about what was going on in our lives. She was so genuine. I feel like I'm losing a second mother. About a year ago, I started coming down here pretty often just to spend quality time with my granny. The conversations and laugh we share will never be forgotten. So glad I was able to take the time out and just sit with her to talk about life. God knew I would need this to help me get through these dark moments. My granny was truly the best. I would like to be selfish and beg to God if we could just have her for a little bit longer, but to think of her shouting and leaping and the feeling of being free from her burden, that right there is my consolation. And a special thanks to Papa and my dad. They were exceptional to the very, very end. You guys were phenomenal. We love you, skater. Good afternoon. I am our oldest granddaughter. I would first like to thank everyone for all the love that has been shown to our family during this time. My grandfather, fa father, siblings, and myself greatly appreciate each and every one of you. My granny, we were super close. One day she told me, Jazz, you're one of my best friends. And that was one of my most special moments. We didn't have the average grandmother and granddaughter relationship. We were like this. My granny was a social butterfly. She knew no stranger. Growing up, it really used to annoy me. We would be in her favorite store, Dillard's. And I would be so ready to go. But then she would start up a random combo with literally anyone. But that was Granny. She truly did touch every single soul that she met. She was very funny and very real. She was so sad when I moved to Michigan. She said, Jazz, I just retired. I thought we could travel the world. I wish we still had that chance. But Granny gave us so many memories. We always had the best time ever. We would talk on the phone for hours and hours and sometimes hours. And even if we had one of our four hour phone calls, as soon as I hung up, she would call back and say, Jazz, just one more thing. And that would turn into another hour. As my sister said, Granny was the most supportive grandmother ever. She was so proud of us and all of our accomplishments. And she was so happy that I married such a good guy and loved him very much as well. I could go on and on about how amazing my granny Moon was to me, but I promised her that I would let the world know her testimony, and that's what I'll do here today. For the last 16 years of her life, my granny carried a heavy, heavy burden, but she did not let that stop her. She was faithful to the church and went over and beyond to support and uplift Papa in all his ministries. She loved and cared for my father, her one and only, unconditionally. And as she calls us, 
her five heartbeats, Snazzle, Skater, Boy, Mai and her girl Mari, and we can't forget her great grandson's twin set. So as Grammy carried this burden, she never complained. She never said, well, it's me. Even as this burden continued to grow, she rarely spoke on it. She was a woman of courage. I was able to be with my grandmother for the last month of her life. It was shocking to me to see her become so low, but so encouraging to see her fight had never shifted. We had some very tough conversations during those long days where she couldn't do much, but I listened to every word. Granny told me that she was ready to go meet Jesus and that her assignment on earth was up. She told me that she was ready to leave this old wicked world behind. That was the hardest conversation I've ever had in my life. But she asked me to pray that God would just comfort her during this time and that she would stay faithful to him to the very end. She wanted to let the world know that she believed that God gave her this burden to carry for almost 16 years as part of her testimony My to God. show that you can make it through anything. My God. Life won't always be perfect or easy, but whatever you are going through, you must persevere. I watched my granny those last few weeks. I stared at her for hours and hours. She asked me, Jazz, please read 1 Peter 4.12 4, to me. That says, Beloved, think it not strange the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened to you. But rejoice in as much as you are partakers of Christ's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, he may be glad also with exceeding joy. She said, Jazz, the enemy wants to get me at the end, but I'm making sure I do whatever it takes to make to heaven. And she did everything that she was supposed to do to enter into those pearly gates. God gave us so many miracles during that time. She wanted peace. And even though she should have been in so much pain, the majority of the time she was actually in little to no pain at all. Her transition was so peaceful and beautiful and all of the families surrounded her cheering her on to glory. We all respected her wishes, and my granny carried that burden for so many years until her final breath. There was no break in her. She said she wanted to be a soldier, and granny grand, girl, you did that. Oh granny talked to me a lot of the funeral, about the funeral arrangements and such, but one thing was important to her was that the song, Peace in the Valley, which also was her mom's favorite song, will be sung here today. We will play that song over and over and over for her as she passed through her valley. And encourage her to have and encourage her to have peace in the valley in the midst of those final days. She was tired and weary of this life, but thank God she is not suffering anymore. And that burden is finally gone. We miss you, Granny, Granny, but I promise I'll see you again.